All right. So, family, I wanted to share with you all, um, when I was playing the song yesterday about the gift is not free, it actually is. And I want to come and correct myself on that. Out of Romans chapter 5, verses 16. When I, My understanding of what I was saying was it wasn't free. Basically, as we gave, he had, he had to pay the price. But yes, the price that he paid was free for us. So, just wanted to share that. And we're justified by his blood. Okay. Romans 5 verses 9. But much more than being now justified by his blood. We shall be saved from wrath of him. His blood. Our faith. The elders obtained a good report by faith. Hebrews 11 verses 2. It was not their works. It was their faith according to the works. People thinking that they cannot, they can deny the, the, um, the New Testament and deny Yahshua talking about it's just, it's just the Torah only. You don't make any sense because there's nothing in those Torah law and the Torah law that you are able to do. You're not able to go to Jerusalem on your own. Okay. You've been cast out. All right. It's going to Hebrews 11. You are not able to keep the feast days on the day that it's supposed to. We're off. He, the, he, the, the, the enemy um, changed the times and the seasons. Let me get this. Okay. Hebrews 11 says that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So, Yasha was the evidence of things I seen, which was the was um the word, which is spirit, but it been manifested by the Father, making His word known. Okay, let me make it more clear. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. The word was in the beginning. Was um the earth was existing without void? Okay. And then he said, let there be. So the, the word coming forth was the evidence of the things that was not seen. This, it was, this, uh, uh, you know, everything the father spoke came forth. It says, by faith, the elders obtained a good report. So it's not by the keeping the commandments or by the Torah. And when I'm saying not, not, not keeping the commandments, not saying, oh, what is she saying? I'll keep the law. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is. It's nothing that you can do in your own strength that will justify you. Your blood is already tainted because of Adam. Okay. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men for all that have sinned. So think about it like this. A person will say, I don't believe in this son. And you know, it's just Yash. I, I mean, it's just, the, it's just the, um, the father. I don't believe in the new Testament. I'm just going with the Torah. Then when were you ever justified according to the Torah? You, you, you already broke the law. And so with that mindset alone, you being out here scattered in your oppressed, in the oppressor's land alone, so what sacrifice are you going to be able to give in order to be redeemed? Because then when you keep the Torah law, there's, there's a lot of laws that say, oh, and you shall give me this. The laws of our Torah actually are about us being in our, they really are rules that come with being in our own land. You can't give him, how about the seventh year Jubilee? You can't give him, the top of your crops and rest the whole seven year, the seventh year in this land of oppression. You're, you like, there's things you just can't do in the land of our captivity. And that's where the grace comes from. Just like if you don't have the money for a bill, they give you a grace period. I mean, they give you more time to pay it. But without the grace, you are not able to do the law. So I just want to share that. People don't make no sense. You got people come on my channel with the, by the name of somebody named Jeannie something. Ask me, what is your purpose? Only God can judge. See, when people say stuff like that, only God can judge, you're dead. Because at the end of the day, the scripture says, he that is spiritual judge of all things. Judge of all things, yet he is judge of no man. 
So, here I just see somebody talking crazy out their mouth concerning scriptures. And you're going to ask me, what is my purpose? If you are dead, first of all, a man that be spiritual, judge of all things, but he that is cardinal is judged of no man. So if you are cardinal, of course you cannot discern why I'm judging this cardinal issue. According to the spirit. And if you are dead, you can in no wise see the kingdom. And if you can't see the kingdom, this is why you can't see my purpose, genie. Coming on my video concerning awaken to, to death and destruction at Prince David. Either you was a silly, simple woman who was bobbing the head or you just some random person he put and sent over my way. Rather, wh whatever you are, it doesn't even matter. But you're going to get this rebuke. Now you can run and go tell him I said that. He knows me. He knows my contact information and my email. He wants to have anything to say. He can come say it to me. As far as I'm concerned, what is your purpose? You know why? Because I received the spirit, not of the world, but the spirit of my father, that we might know the things which that are freely given to us of the father, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but by the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. So I discerned the spirit he was of, which his spirit was of the world, which is deception. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Ohio. What is your purpose? Obviously, you don't get it, lady. Gee. Okay. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can they be known. Can he know them? Because they are spiritually discerned. You can't spiritually discern because you're not spiritual. But he that is spiritual judge of all things. I'm only the only the most high can judge. If the most high is in me, it is he that judges. Simple, silly, ding bats. Oh, Father, help me. Self-control, Ziari, over your tongue. Let's, take, let's scratch out the ding bats. Let's call you what you are. You are dead. That's what you are. You are a natural man. And things that I'm speaking is foolishness to you. For who have known the mind of Ahia? That he may instruct him. But we have the mind of the Messiah. If you deny the Messiah, the Messiah. You most certainly don't have his mind. You have the mind of the spirit of the world. Because the world rejected him. And I don't want to hear nothing you guys say about something. I'm just, I'm just going gonna, gonna to leave the most. He ain't say nothing about no son. Well guess what? Guess what? John 1-1 one, one going to sit you right on your little funny looking tail. We're going to do that again. We're going to go to John 1-1. One, one. And I'm going to get on off of here. Finish my lesson with my children. In the beginning was the word and the word was with the husband man and the word was the husband man. As I explained to my children, it's like if you make soap and you have a bad batch, but you already have a second batch preserved that you're going to use if the first batch doesn't go well. Yeshia is that second batch for us because we were the first batch of the sons of the Most High that fail. Adam did not have a mother. He was created by the Most High. And he was a real man. Okay. And he was also the figure of him that was to come. Who was the one that ever came that had a, that was was out did not have a mother though he came through a woman as a baby to go through all the process of a baby guess what he was before that mother I already told y'all before he was over there in the fiery furnace and Abraham saw him as well so there you go you must understand, justified by your faith while you are doing the work. Because with faith without works is dead. Now, 
Somebody here think they're going to justify themselves. They think they're going to present some better blood, especially if you is a sodomite. Let's be real. Especially if you was dealing with homosexuality or lesbianism, pedophilia, thievery, adultery, fornication, with all of it. It don't matter. Whatever you was dealing with, you can't find a perfect sacrifice within, within yourself. Because you were already blemished. You cannot give the creator a blemish lamb.